Bat Jack JW coming back with you. <laughs> oh boy. Snubbies. You know how I like snubbies. <laughs> and a, uh, yeah, a local subscriber, viewer, that uh, said, uh, yeah, I knew I love them too. So we got this one on loan for the uh, video purposes. What is it? Come on, people. What could that be? Well, you know, it's my favorite brand of revolver. <laughs> it is, check it out. Let's see if that'll focus on it for us. A 22 long rifle snubby J frame. <laughs> oh, I, I tell you, this thing is a beauty. Um, I, I just love this thing. Look at that. A six shot, um, well, 22 LR uh, snubby Smith and Wesson. <laughs> Look at that. It's even got adjustable rear sights and uh, quite of a, a ramped front sight there. So this is really cool, and for me, these uh, snubbies, uh, or not these, uh, the double action revolver, uh, Smith & Wesson uh, 22 go back with me uh, to where I was first shooting in the range uh, with my father, uh, was a 22 Smith & Wesson double action revolver, probably the 4-inch barrel variant of this. Uh, I'm, I never was certain on what those were, but uh, they belonged to my Nana and uh, they had since been sold and I wish I could get my hands on them again. Uh, she, just like some people back then, they, she had engraved her serial number or her um, social security number on those uh, way back. But anyway, now this one here, uh, it's a Model 34. It's a Dash 1. Uh, these came around when I first, when they were first kind of introduced, they were like, uh, known as like a 22, 32 something like that or 22 slash 32 or um that other that other number was a frame designation and then it was like an i frame and then it kind of evolved to this the j frame which we all are kind of familiar with so this one here is the round butt uh, that's the uh, grip here that's the round one now the squared off one is a little bit more rare uh that one is a, a little bit more of a premium and then of course you got uh the ones in nickel, uh, like a nickel with a square butt, that's going to be a premium as well. Now, the majority of these 34s, uh, they're fairly common, but uh, from what I understand, the snub nose variant, the short little two inch barrel variant, is um, not as common. Although you can find them, any uh, well stocked, uh, good. Uh, old school gun shop like I like ought to have one <laughs> but uh, they pop around here and there and look check this out even back then as far back as that um, it's a frame mounted uh, firing pin there yeah kinda interesting isn't it now you want to be careful with these uh, being it's a rim fire we don't want to dry fire it or anything like that so um, check this out the, this is another cool thing the guy that owns this also has these little speed loaders, uh, I, never did I ever think I'd see something like that. I did not even know um, HKS did something like that. Shows you how much I know, which is very little. <laughs> but he had a couple of these he threw in there just for us to check it out with. Uh, I threw the ammo in there. I'll probably give it back to him with the ammo in it. Here, thank you. <laughs> but, man, this is so neat. Um, he's... He's lent a couple of snubbies to the channel that we photographed. Uh, uh, one you've already seen, and we'll, we'll do another one later. Um, but this one here, definitely wanted to check it out. Um, from what I understand, I think I looked it up, if I recall. It was uh, in the 70s, 70, you know, somewhere in the 70s this one was made. Uh, again, this is a Dash 1. It's the, it's a J-frame, but if you find the older ones, like an I-frame and whatnot, you start uh, getting into some serious uh, money there. But, man, this thing is just, I just can't get over how cool it is. It just is so neat. Um, just to see a snub nose in 22LR. And that, that's the, the fun part about 22 lr uh, with these. You can shoot shorts, longs, um, and there's even these other ones that uh, are out that are just powered by the primer. And those are neat, and uh, you can shoot those out of this. In fact, uh, I did get a chance to kind of pop a couple of those off. It was really neat. I just I couldn't believe it. It's awesome. 
So, and I, I do love the old school, like little, there's just something about it. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that I, I watched so many old school detective films as a kid. Uh, you know, all those uh, Bogart movies. And of course, you know, one of my favorites uh, of all is um, Witness with uh, Harrison Ford in the 80s. Uh, uh, he just he had this really uh, neat it's a pre-model 10 snub nose 38 and it's just awesome but uh you know this is probably one of the coolest j frames i've ever seen really i mean this one is is just totally awesome for me this one definitely takes the cake um i i'd much rather you know this is this is just too much fun <laughs> anyway look we're having way too much fun on the channel so um, we'll leave you to it. Enjoy your weekend. Thanks for sticking around and watching. Give us a subscribe and uh, take this journey with old Bat Jack JW.